there's a Santa over there waving. I don't know if y'all can see him. There is Koala. Maybe he'll wave once the light turns green. There it goes. Yeah, I think I get them. Oh, too fast. <laughs> too fast. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. Yeah. <laughs> but it's about half we can move it. Yeah. Dominoes. Just in case y'all didn't know, we're heading to Maryville. Maryville, whatever. Maryville for y'all non Tennesseans. Merle for um, Layla's birthday. So, yeah. With Jennifer and the kiddos. We do not enunciate in Tennessee. Enunciate. Or it could just be a Knoxville thing. We just don't enunciate. Look, there's a truck, everybody. But, uh, isn't that wild neat? I can't see. Okay, I can see it now. Oh, where's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun Sphere. Isn't that neat, everybody? The staple of Knoxville. World Fair. Yeah, World, World's Fair site, 1984. Huh, 82. Oh, yeah, because I wasn't born yet. I keep forgetting. It was a year before I was born. My mama says she worked it, but I don't believe her. Cause she didn't even live in Knoxville at the time. Like, why would you come all the way from Rogers? Well, she said that they, that her and Doris and um, Frida worked at one of the concessions, not together. Like they all three worked at a concession stand and um, but sometimes, you know, she be telling some wolf tales. She be trying to. Well, she probably. Well, I mean, she um, be selling some wolf tickets sometime, and I, and I'm just, and I'm not even in the mood to be buying any wolf tickets. And if Frida was. Oh, wolf tickets is when people be lying to make themselves look good. And they be trying to really sell the story to um, make themselves look good. And be like, uh, nobody's buying wolf tickets. Like, dude, that's obviously a lie. And we all know it's a lie, so we're not buying wolf tickets. So, yeah. But if Gary ever gets famous, that's Tuttis. If he ever gets famous, y'all can buy wolf tickets. Ha 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 ha. Ba bum bum. <laughs> That'd be funny. Be like, we're not buying wolf tickets. You told us not to buy wolf tickets. And now he's selling tickets to his famous whatever. downtown well we're kind of about to be over the strip yeah that's um fort sanders that building right there is the hospital fort sanders and yeah right there and then children's is right there right beside fort sanders and then it's so sad because and then there's 
the strip Nandlin Stadium for y'all that don't know um, UT College is um, on the strip but it's so sad that they're building a whole new building a whole new building at Children's Hospital because there's so many NSA babies that's drug exposed babies that um, there, there's so many NSA babies I don't know if it's just in Tennessee or if it's just in general but so many that they don't even have room at Children's Hospital to put them in a NICU that is so sad that they're building literally a whole new building like when you go over to Children's Hospital oh hold on there's UT Hospital well I mean we're about to pass it that's uh, UT Hospital um, but yeah there's so many NSA babies that they don't even have like because hell it is is poor Sanders like their baby their special babies um, like if it's premature, but it's like not all NSA babies don't go to children's. It's like, you know, babies that need to go to children's. But um, how the totem pole is, is Fort Sanders, special babies first, and then I think it's UT and St. Mary's might be on the same. Uh, or Tenovia for y'all that, hold on, let me make sure I'm not zoomed. I was. I'm so sorry, y'all. Please forgive my big old face if it was in the camera. Um, Tenovia, I do this because of St. Mary's. For y'all that knows that um, it was originally St. <clears throat> originally St. Mary's, and now it's Tenovia. Um, but yeah, and then when children's okay. I think it's, yeah, when children can't hold any more babies, like special babies in the NICU, which I think they got three floors of NICUs, um, when they can't hold them anymore, like when they can't accept anymore, they send them to Vanderbilt, which is in Nashville. But it's so sad that it is so many babies that needs to be in the NICU because of a drug, which is alcohol, um, nicotine exposure, like extreme nicotine exposure, pills, meth, ecstasy, like all the, like crack, everything. That it is so bad that, that they can't even house them all, that they have to build a totally new building. That is sick. That is so sick. And I'm glad that they um, passed the law now with uh, people now if their baby is born, like exposed to anything, now goes to jail. Like, <clears throat> that's sad because your baby is innocent. It's an innocent life. I mean, you know, come on. You shouldn't do that. But there's Severe Heights Church. That's where we went for um, the Living Christmas Tree pageant. That's a big church. I actually, I don't know, is it this one, Gary? Is this the original church? Or is it? Huh? The original one used to be up in Severe Heights. Maybe that's where I went. Because, like, when I was younger, back in the the early 90s like 1990 and up i went to severe heights and i went to um mount olive which is on out mount olive is on alcohol highway right remember we passed it that one time out there and yeah like i went to mount olive i think it's on severe or alcohol highway I know we're on Alco Highway right now, but it's it wasn't this one, it was the other one on the other side. It's South Knoxville. Um, 
but we're heading um, oh, well, I already said we're heading to Maribel, sorry. We're on Alcoa Highway right now. Huh? This is John Sevier? John Sevier's right here. John Sevier. The one that off the dining, uh, yeah. Maybe, yeah, I, well, because, cause, okay, back in the days, um, how they did it was all the high school kids went to South Door High for their church and then they dropped the middle school kids off at South Door Middle for their church and then the rest of the like the little kids and the adults went to Severe Heights Church and then after they did their little Bible study they went over and got the middle school and high school kids from the schools and brought them and then that's where we had big church at but our Sunday school I remember because I never got to go to um, the I never got to go to the middle school because I was still in elementary school and um, but I remember Leisha always went to the middle school for her Sunday school but um, so it might be, that might have been the one that I went to. I don't remember. I was like freaking six or seven um, when I went, or seven or eight. I was like, I was under 10 because I wasn't in fifth grade yet. But, um, yeah. My doctor used to be down there, down on this whole park side drive. Or no, top side. Top side, not park side. Park uh, side. Awesome. Huh? Park side is in Yeah, well, I didn't mean park side. I meant top side. Dr. Nash. My mama said that he died. I was like, oh, Dr. Nash. He's the one that kept telling me that I had um, a thyroid problem and that if I had gastric bypass, then my headaches would go away. And I was like, okay. And I mean, I think I do have a thyroid problem, but obviously it's not killing me, or it might be, I don't know. But um, I got gastro bypass, thinking it was gonna take away my headaches. And little did I know, my weight had nothing to do with my with my headaches. But see, you know, Dr. Kabani, Dr. Kabani, well, same difference, Dr. Nash, Dr. Kabani, same difference. No, I'm saying same difference, because they keep saying, they both were talking about my weight. If you lose weight, your headaches will go away. No, nah, motherfucker, they don't got nothing. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. PG. I'm, no, it does not have nothing to do with my weight. My headaches has zero to do with my weight. It's actually the other way around. My weight, or my headaches, is because I'm, I mean, I have water retention. And my body collects fluid because Roxanne is a beast. Y'all heard me talk about Roxanne. She's not new. She, she's, she's not brand new. And Roxanne is a, is a B.I., but Hitler is even worse. That's my brain, if y'all don't know. Y'all know Hitler. He, he's evil. And so Hitler tells Roxanne, we need to keep all the water. And so Roxanne's like, okay, Hitler, if you say we need to keep the water, we're going to keep the water. So that's what they do. They work together. But sometimes they be fighting, and I have to pay the price. But anyways, yeah, we're, I guess I'll go because this is a long video. All right, well, I will pick up later.